Hey everyone. Alright, so I get tons of emails, as most of you already know, and one of the emails I get quite often is someone telling me, you inspired me to go to cosmetology school so I can become a makeup artist. I just wanted to touch base on that very quickly, very short video, and that is to let you guys know that cosmetology is actually the study of hair, skin, and nails, but your emphasis is on hair. That's the main thing. You do maybe like a week or two on skin, learning about facials and everything like that, a week or two, maybe a month, it depends on where you go to school, on nails, and then in all of that, you spend maybe, maybe, maybe two days to a week on makeup, and that's it, because that's not the emphasis of cosmetology. It's hair. You're going there to be a hair colorist, a hairstylist, either of those two. If you want to become a makeup artist, you actually don't have to go to school for it, get into like movies and special effects, then most definitely you want to go to school to learn how to do that, but you don't have to. You can learn from um, other people. You can like shadow someone. You can assist people that are already in the industry. There's so many different ways that you can learn how to do makeup depending on what field you want to do. Beauty makeup, um, like editorial stuff or special effects. You can learn through books. You can learn through DVDs and videos from assisting and shadowing someone. There's tons of different ways you can learn, but there are places like Makeup Designery and makeup schools like that that will teach you the things you need to know about specific areas of makeup if you want special effects or if you want to do beauty makeup or if you just want to do wedding makeup for the rest of your life. So you can look into stuff like that. I personally can't recommend any schools only because I didn't go to school. I'm self-taught. So I can't tell you which school is better than any. You're just going to really have to do a lot of your own research and compare and contrast everything against one another, like price, what they offer, where it's at, how long it is, what all you learn. All of that you're going to want to factor in, just like any other school you were going to, like if you were going to university or something like that. One thing I will say though is knowing how to do hair is helpful, but as a makeup artist you don't need to know how. It'll be very helpful in the sense that if you're doing a shoot and the stylist doesn't show up or they need someone just to do like a quick updo or just some very quick version of styling, knowing the basics will come in handy. And again, you can learn the basics of styling hair from YouTube videos, books, videos, shadowing someone and assisting, all that stuff. Another option that you could use is going to school for aesthetics and becoming an esthetician, which is the study of skin and stuff like that. They do a little bit more in-depth with makeup, but again, it's more about skin and taking care of it, making it even, fine lines, wrinkles, pores, discolorations, all that stuff but with a little bit of makeup thrown in there. So with all that said, I hope this is helpful to some of you. Again, if you want to be strictly a makeup artist, you do not have to go to cosmetology school, but if you want to know how to cut color, relax, perm, like do everything styling-wise with hair, then by all means, go to cosmetology school. Um, but for those of you that just want to be a makeup artist, this will probably help you save a few dollars, so that way you can focus more on makeup and getting things and getting the education for makeup instead of wasting time on hair. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys. And actually, um, let me run downstairs and grab it and then I'll show you. I'm going to be posting a tutorial on Monday and I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what it's about. Maybe you'll be able to guess, maybe you won't, but it involves this crown that I made. You can see it's nice and glittery and fun and sparkly. But yeah, it involves this. So that'll be posted on Monday. So tutorials are going to start back up very, very shortly. So that's all I have for you guys for now. So until my next video, which will be on Monday, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.